Hi everyone, here is the Book Amiss once again. A quick announcement. Some of you might have noticed that recently I haven't been posting many videos, especially not new material like reviews or stuff. That's mostly because I am currently uh, writing the last chapters of my postgraduate dissertation, the last chapters, last bits. I recently found its title, I think it's going to be called Getting Constructively Lost. And those of you who identify where the quote comes from without using Google, deserve my respect. I'm very busy with my thesis and when I get a few spare minutes I usually do other stuff like tidying up the apartment, which I should definitely do as you can probably see from the clothes hanging off the doors, and so the situation is not probably going to improve until I'd say mid-July, but fear not, the books I mentioned in previous videos, especially in the video about the books I would read in 2016, I'm still going to read them. I need to read most of them for academic purposes anyway, so I'll definitely read them in the summer. Lots of people recently have asked me about Mason and Dixon by Thomas Pynchon. I will read this thing. I can't wait to start it. Not now, probably. I'll probably read it like maybe in late June, early July, more likely in August, let's say. Also, another thing I'll be reading this summer is graphic novels, a lot of graphic novels. I may talk about the why in future videos. So uh, my video about Watchmen, where I asked you to suggest me like graphic novels I should read, keep in mind, please notice that I am taking down all your suggestions and I will definitely follow them and we'll read many of those graphic novels, famous ones, more obscure ones you've suggested. So since I'm not likely to give you many book recommendations in the next few weeks, I haven't been in a while, I'll leave you with a few reviewer recommendations, booktubers, uh, um, reviewers in general, recommendations for you to enjoy. All the people I'm going to mention are dope readers, way better than me in general, and yeah, you should definitely check their channel, blog, whatever, out. I filmed a video just like this one about one year ago, and if you need many book reviewers in your life, do check that one out too, because all those suggestions are still valid. In particular, Witty Wordplay, which is the blog of my main man, Kif, is awesome. All these reviews are to the point and amazing and very insightful. Do check it out. Talk about the devil. I just visited Kif's blog, a Witty Wordplay, and I saw that in one recent reviews, he said that he does not appreciate, nor has he ever appreciated, the best fiction writer of all times, H.P. Lovecraft. Seriously, Cave? So remember the suggestion I gave you? Forget it. The blog? Don't visit it. It's... There, there's no point. Of course, I'm joking. The reviews are awesome. He's great. He's a great guy. But seriously, Lovecraft. And two channels I forgot to mention in that video are going to be my first suggestions here. The first one is Brown Girl Reading and the second one is One Book, One Review. Of course, links in the description box because these are two awesome, insightful booktubers who actually inspired me a lot when I was starting with book reviews on YouTube. These, alongside I'd say Dingoranites, uh, Unleash This Book Review, are the channel I watched like three, four? Yeah, let's say four years ago, and the channels that inspired me and taught me how you should structure and how you should articulate a book review on YouTube, how this old thing works. Their reviews are all insightful. Sometimes I disagree with the opinion of one book, one review on certain books, certain titles. I think she didn't especially like The Yiddish Policeman Union by Michael Sheban, which is one of my favorite novels of all times. In general, their opinion is always great and very good to hear when you want to discuss a book. Another awesome channel I discovered much more recently, I think it's a much more recent channel, is For the Love of Ryan by this awesome dude called Ryan, who is an incredible book reviewer, again very insightful, very clever, reflects upon like especially contemporary American and international fiction in very clever and brilliant ways and makes you look at the books you most like he talks about the correction by Franzen, about Infinite Jest, he talks about Roberto Bolaño, he talks about Elena Ferrante. He talks about all these books and makes you see new sides of these books. I definitely suggest him to the people who are subscribed to my channel because we tend to like the, the very same kind of books. So if you like the books I review, you're probably going to love the books he reviews. Several weeks ago I reviewed um, City on Fire by Garfrey Scalber, which is the sensational new novel by this amazing emerging author, a uh, 800 page book, a uh, sprawling epic about New York in the 70s. I forgot to mention that the guy actually is also an awesome book reviewer and he writes for a, a literary website called The Million, which is really a, a treasure chest 
for lovers and aficionados of contemporary fiction, especially American, not only American. Godfrey Skalberg is also an awesome guy, I actually met him earlier this year, he gesticulates a lot when he talks, he's very funny, um, and again, I liked City on Fire, the novel, but I think he is also a great, great book reviewer. His reviews tend to be quite lengthy, but for a reason. Again, he makes you uh, like think about books you have already read, appreciate it, and he makes you look at them under a completely new light. I'd say that he is a much better book reviewer than I am, but that's fine because I'm a better writer than he is. That's a joke. It's a joke. As for everything else in this video, links to his articles and reviews in the description box below. One final booktube channel I have to mention is Better Than Food books re book reviews, which I didn't know until the recommendation video I posted last year, and then lots of people told me you should definitely check the guy out, and he's of course awesome. He uh, mainly talks about literary fiction, lots of classics, also lots of contemporary literary fiction, and again, he gives you brilliant insights, a bit of background about, about the book, it's always a good starting point if you want to reflect about classics or contemporary books you have read and you want to go to go deeper with your understanding of those books. He is awesome, he drinks disgusting American coffee with ice in it, which for an Italian is like really really incomprehensible, at least for me, and he tends to uh, use a lot of silence in these videos, in his videos, but uh, besides that, he is like top of the game. He's, he may be the best booktuber around the web, who knows. Finally, one last recommendation for you is John Mullen, who is actually an English professor at UCL in England. He specializes in 18th century British fiction, I think, but he also writes for The Guardian, he reviews and talks about contemporary fiction. He wrote an awesome book called How Novels Work, I think, in which he talks about several contemporary novels and about ways to read it, the ways you should interpret and read fiction. It's a great read for people who are looking into the most approachable side of the literary analysis spectrum, which is to put it bluntly, also the most useful side of the spectrum, also the only useful side of the spectrum, who knows? Anyway, what I'm going to suggest now is his articles on The Guardian, his uh, 10 of the best, which are lists of, I don't know, the 10 best bridges in literature. They are, if, if you know my channel a little bit, it's exactly the kind of shit I like, you know, five uh, books with vegetables in it, in them, and yeah, they are a bit random, but they're awesome suggestions about books spanning different eras, both classics and contemporary, across all genres. He's a great guy, he's super fun, he's really entertaining, do check his articles out. I think that's it for these videos, I will see you in a future in which I will be less busy, Thank you so much for watching once again, guys. Uh, do check out all these people. Bye, guys.